Hello and happy holidays to you, my little cougar artists. And if it's after Christmas and after New Year's, by the time you see this video and the holidays are over, well, then I guess just hello. My name, for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Mr. G. I'm the art teacher at Ross Point Elementary. And now I'm taking over all the remote art instruction for the students at Razzle Point Elementary. I used to make a whole bunch of uh, art videos for all the students at Razzle Point when we were all doing remote learning back in the spring and the, and the beginning of the summer, back in early 2020, when we were, like I said, we were all remote learning. But this is actually the first video for, uh, for the art students at Razzle Point that I've made since way back in June. So I'm kind of excited to get started. And it's for all of the art students at Razzle Point but especially for my remote learners. So if you are interested in, in doing some art work together, we'll get started. And our first drawing that we're gonna to do together is one of the most important things in the whole world. We're gonna draw something that is something that I like very much. And hopefully it's something that you like very much. We're gonna draw a picture of you. And anytime that you draw a picture of yourself, it's called a self portrait. So if you got your pencil and your eraser and maybe some colors, we'll get started. And we're gonna get started with a circle. Now my paper is much bigger than, than the paper that you're probably gonna end up using. So on your paper, which is probably about the, probably computer paper, about nine by 12, start out with drawing a circle nice and light. And if you like it, go ahead and make it darker. And if you want to, uh, you can use something to trace out a circle. I don't think that's cheating any more than it is to use a ruler to draw a straight line. So if you want to get something round, like maybe a CD or DVD, if you still have any of those in your house, maybe something that's about the size of a uh, margarine lid to trace your circle right about in the middle of your paper, we're going to get started. Now I'm going to draw with a crayon so that you can see my lines better, but really you should use a pencil so that if you make a mistake, you can correct it as you go if you've got an eraser with you. And to begin with my uh, drawing, I'm going to start after I've done my circle, I'm going to start about halfway down. So if this is the top and this is the bottom, halfway down is, well, it's not there. Well, now I've gone too low, so I'm going to come up a little bit. If this is about halfway, that's going to be the top of my circle. And how big should my circle be? Maybe about the size of a penny. Okay. And I'm going to draw lightly so that if I decide to change it, I can always change it. Okay. Now this is going to be the nose. For the eyes, I'm going to make them a little bit higher, but about the same size. They're not going to be way up here because your eyes are actually about halfway down your head. So I'm going to draw two circles that are about the same size as the circle that I just drew. And to make them look even more real, instead of just being circles, I'm going to draw two bigger circles, actually ovals, that start right at the bottom and then they just get bigger. So you've got a circle inside a circle, but both of the circles touch on the bottom. It's not a circle inside a circle. You can see how the big circle and the little circle are both touching on the bottom. Now we'll draw it over here. I'll give a nice, simple smile. Maybe I'll start about the middle of the eyes. So if this is the middle of the eye, that's about where I'm going to draw the smile. I'm going to keep it nice and simple. And if you're an artist who has a little bit more confidence, or if you want to make it a little bit more real or a little more fancy, or whatever you want to do to show your personality, well, you can go ahead and do that. I'm going to give them some eyebrows. And eyebrows are very important because not only can they show one person looking different than another person, they can do an awful lot to show facial expression, okay? If I'm angry, my eyebrows are gonna be a certain way. If I'm scared or surprised, they're gonna be higher up. If I'm suspicious, they may look like this. So the kind of eyebrows that you draw are gonna be very important. I'm just gonna make a simple curved line for now. And I'm gonna put a little color in my eyes. If you want to, you can wait a little bit and do it with with colors later on. I'm just going to put it in now and maybe I'll add a little bit of color later on also. Now for the hair, that's something that's going to be different with every person. If you're standing next to somebody right now in the room, there's a very good chance that your hair is very different than the person standing next to you. I know that for me myself, my hair is very different than it was 20 years ago. That's the way it goes. 
I wasn't always a blonde. But I'm going to show you one way to draw hair. And when you draw your self-portrait, what you should do is either look at a photograph of yourself or look in the mirror and draw the hair that you want to have your picture to have. So right about in the middle, I'm going to draw a line that goes across. Okay, about the middle of the forehead, halfway between the eyebrows and the top of the head, I'm just going to have a line that goes across. And then I'm going to have another line that comes down to show a little bit of hair on the side of the head. So I just went straight across, and when the circles, when the line touched the circle, then I'm going to come down here. Now for the ears, I'm just going to make a little oval, sort of like a letter C. How big should it be? Maybe about from the top of the eye to the bottom of the nose. Maybe a little bigger, maybe a little smaller, whatever you think looks right. The neck is going to be a little bit smaller than the head. I'm going to come straight down like this. Then maybe give it a little scoop or even a letter V, whatever you think looks right. And for the shoulders, I'm going not quite straight across. Not straight across like this, but they're angling down a little bit until I get almost to the edge of my paper, and then I'm going to bring them down like that. Okay, now if I'm drawing a boy, I'm just about done. If I want to make it a girl, there's a few changes that, I, that I'm going to make. And one is I'm going to draw a triangle right here that's touching another triangle. You can see how they're touching in the middle. The tips of the triangles are touching. And then I'm going to draw a circle right there. So now she has a bow in her hair. Maybe I'll draw the rest of that ribbon going around. And the hair, I'm just going to make the hair long. Now, sometimes boys have long hair. Sometimes girls have short hair. So whatever kind of hair you have, do your best. To make it look like the hair that you have on your head. One more detail I can do to make my picture look like a girl. I'm going to put one, two, three, not too many. Just some eyelashes right here. And anything that I want to do to personalize my picture, maybe my person has a, has a baseball cap or a football jersey or a cougar hoodie. Maybe my person has earrings. Whatever you think looks right to add some personality to your picture, that's what you should do. So as I finish putting in some of the details of my picture here, I can see that the only thing I need to do now is add some color. So why don't we do that now? Well, now my self-portrait is all finished and it's in full color, but, but it's not really a self-portrait, is it? It doesn't look very much like myself. It's actually a picture of my favorite artist in the whole world, my daughter, Devin. She's a very good artist. Maybe I can talk her into doing a portrait of me, and if she does, I'll share it with you guys. She lives in Florida now, so if you happen to be in Florida and you see somebody walking down the street that looks like this, probably Devin. Feel free to just wave and say, hey, Devin, I recognize you from your portrait. And as far as your portraits go, I want to say a few important things before I sign off. One is that I know that drawing self-portraits is very, very difficult. It's one of the hardest things to draw. So if you have a little bit of difficulty, don't get frustrated. And if your portrait doesn't look anything at all like the drawing that I did, don't worry about it. As long as you tried your best, you had fun, and you learned maybe a little something that you didn't know before, well, then it was worth it. Maybe the only thing that you learned is that the eyes are actually halfway down the head, not way up near the top. Maybe the only thing that you learned is that it's a good idea to draw lightly. That way, if you make a mistake, you can fix it before you move on. But whatever you do, if you keep practicing and you learn a little bit with each drawing that you do, I guarantee that you're going to succeed. I can't wait to see your self-portraits. I always love your, your uh, pictures that you guys send to me. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay creative, stay cougar strong. We'll see you soon.